Well, whatever you want to call her, Samantha B has now apologized for her repre reprehensible comment about first daughter Ivanka Trump. But the president is wondering why the left-wing show host has been given a free pass by the national left-wing media. This is what he tweeted this morning. Well, it's among the things he tweeted this morning. Asking, why aren't they firing no talent Samantha B for the horrible language used on her low rating show? A total double standard, but that's okay. We are winning and will be doing so for a long time to come. Well, joining us tonight, two winners for sure, social media stars, Diamond and Silk, great to have you all with oh, us. Oh, thank you for wow. having us. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you for being here. I, it, it's always great to see you, and uh, I, I wish you'd be here every night. <laughs> <laughs> but to this, this Samantha B thing, apparently there's a vested interest here. It's somebody trying to exploit the Trump phenomenon That's on the right. left and not mention the president's name. I, I, I mean, what do you think? Well, you know what? It's backfiring in her face. I think that she should be fired. If they took and if ABC was able to take Roseanne's show away from her because of a tweet that she apologized for, uh -huh. then whoever this here, uh, TBS, they should also drop. Time Warner. Yeah. They should drop her as well. Because, you know, using these vile and derogatory names against the first family, that has got to stop. We see a clear double standard, the hypocrisy on That's the right. left. This is, uh, like, hypocritical. You, if, if this would have been a conservative that said this, oh, my God, all advertisers, not just two, but all advertisers right. would have pulled out. That's so right. I think that her show should be canned as well. And this wasn't a mistake. No, this here, no, they could have bleeped that out, couldn't they? they? could have right. it out. It was already pre-planned and, uh, and pre-edited, so what they could have edited it out. ratings down? Something like 50 percent. Well, see, if your ratings is I mean, down, then get, get rid of the show if your ratings are down. Duh. But don't take and call the first family or Ivanka Trump a derogatory name right. to get attention. And, no. And, and they do it over and over because they're trying, they're, they're doing two things. They're trying to exploit... Uh, exploit the Trump era. That's they right. know he has a, 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 an absolute magic power to drive ratings, whether it's a left-wing uh, network or a right-wing network, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's Hollywood or whether it's, you know, sports. Uh, this is a man who is I mean, I don't know. You know, it'd be interesting to hear a bunch of economists get together and try to figure out how much he's added to the economy just in media power and <laughs> right. audience for, for, for websites, for, you know, I mean, across the board. Yeah. Across the board. That's but, why a lot of the media is still in business. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, yeah, that that's why. something I've been trying to figure because some, <laughs> <laughs> some of those networks, I can't figure out why they would. Mm. Yes. Well, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Roseanne. She got a raw deal, it seems to me. She said something utterly repugnant and racist. But, man, they shot her before she could even take the stock and in inventory of her failings, mm -hmm. don't you think? Well, wow. you know what? It was a joke that went bad. She mm -hmm. deleted the tweet. She apologized for it. And that should have been the end of it, okay? But when you have the left wing uh, that's pushing the narrative, oh, she's racist, but do you know... She used the word monkey. Do you know black people call us monkeys, coons, akatoms? They used the N-word. So you know what? Racism, when we talk about racism, this is a teachable moment. That's they right. shouldn't have canned her show. They should have allowed the show to be a teachable moment. Yes. Racism is not one-sided. we got to look at both sides when we talk about racism. That's racism right. is not about just when a white person says something to a black person or about a black person. It can be black people throwing shade or racism word or racist words at yeah. other black people. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So we yeah. need to have the full conversation about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and, and we've been having this conversation for a long time. I, and frankly, it still surprises me when uh, someone like Roseanne comes up with, a, with nonsense. I mean, she had, as she said, she was driven by Ambien. Uh, I happen, uh, uh, Sanofi, <laughs> the drug company, has gotten a lot of heat for it. But uh, as they pointed out, and I'm, I'm going to give them credit, and a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I thought when they said that whatever the side effects, and there are many, yeah. uh, to Ambien, Racism is not one it's of the not. established side effects. But you know what? I wish that we would stop dividing ourselves based on our skin color right. and start uniting ourselves based oh, yeah. on the fact that we are Americans. You know, That's the right. president is doing a great job oh, of that. An yes, amazing job because this is the United States, not the divided states, and there's only one race, and that's the human race. And he's put, he's bringing us all together. Look at the economy. Yeah. That's Look at right. how things are flowing. He's a man that doesn't waver. He doesn't back down, and we love it. That's right. We love this, and you know what? I think even the left secretly in their... Oh, yeah. In their, oh, yeah. Their, their shriveled up little hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, he's doing a hell of a job. Yes. yes. Right, we were going to do a list of the accomplishments tonight. Okay. 
And, and, and frankly, we didn't have time to list the accomplishments of this president as he leads up to the midterm elections. Wow. I mean, this would be one of those uh, Star Wars sc uh, scrolls that would keep going and yes. going. Yes, yes. Our but. president have done more. President Trump have done more in the year and a half that he's been in office than Obama did in eight years. That's right. Well, so yeah, this know, is amazing. Actually, we got to give him credit for both the Obama years and for his 16 months in office. Because he's not only made all of these historic and, as you say, unprecedented achievements, the best since uh, FDR, mm -hmm. but he's also unwound eight years of Obama. That's and right. All that's that right. vision and nasty yeah, tape absolutely. and all of that he's stuff. He's got it going the other way. That's Diamond right. and Silk, you've always got it going the right way, and we are delighted to see you. Thanks Thank for you. Being. Thank you for Thank having, you for having us. so much. Oh. Chit Chat Tour. That's right. Oh, We're yes. going to be in California in July. Get your tickets at diamondandsilk.com. We believe we can flip California red. That's right. If any two people can, these are the folks right here. Mission accepted, right? Okay. Go get them. That will be a mission accomplished for sure.